So, yeah. this is a list of the things that make for environmental separation. It's not my list. I've spent 30 years, 40 years telling people about it, so people, you know, might think it's my list, but it's not. It comes from Neil Hutchin, Professor Hutchin in the 1950s. It was the time of Elvis uh, Presley, not Costello. <laughs> it was when the Toronto Maple Leafs actually had a hockey team. Montreal was winning in the 50s and Toronto was winning in the 60s and uh, 52 years and counting for me, but that's all right. Um, not all of the things on this list are, are equally important. Um, the things that will kill you are more important than the things that will irritate you. The things that will kill you quickly are more important than the things that will kill you slowly, and the things that will irritate you quickly are more important than the things that will irritate you slowly. Believe it or not, people don't understand the relative importance of things matters. All right, so what is the most important thing for not killing people? And that is um, clean water, you know, basically sanitation, plumbing. Um, the whole basis of civilization is making sure that we keep the shit out of the water. Because if we don't, you die, and you die quickly. When we have a natural disaster, People send fresh water. They don't send bags of insulation. You know, get 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 a grip, okay? You know, clean water is more important than the energy exchange. I mean, you know, everybody get a hold of this. Um, so the very first building codes were plumbing and sanitation codes, and they go back several thousand years, right? Everybody, this is like huge. So the next time that overweight middle-aged plumber bends over and you see the butt crack, have a little bit of respect. That's the basis of all civilization. <laughs> all right, what's the next thing that will kill you? Um, fire. The very first significant fire codes were basically, or building codes were based on fire. Um, you know, Rome burned, uh, London burned. The building code of 1710 in London was based on the great fire that happened 15 years earlier. Chicago burned. Uh, Boston burned right after Chicago, but nobody remembers the great Boston fire because apparently Boston finishes second. See, <laughs> so they, they, St. Louis won the Stanley Cup last night. Jeez, oh, I have to explain culture to this group. Anyway, so. The, the really first integrated codes after plumbing and sanitation happened to be the fire codes. And the fire people today still dominate a lot of the code discussion. And um, we should understand that whatever we do on the other part of this list doesn't interfere with the fire. Um, the Brits forgot about it um, two years ago. They, you know, 80 people died in the Grenfell fire, and that was a, a retrofit, right? Took a, an uninsulated masonry building, and that you skin on the outside with a bunch of insulation and a combustible cladding, and, you know, the fire went up the outside of the building and popped in, as opposed to the traditional going up the inside of the building and popping out. And people don't understand that that was an ultra-efficient retrofit, and the fire started because of a refrigerator using a combustible refrigerant because we wanted a low greenhouse gas potential. So we're going to go back to propane and ammonia and kill people. People died in the 20s and 30s because of refrigerant leaks. It was important not to die because you wanted cold beer. That was insane. Now, fire is more important than energy. Sanitation is more important than fire. So plumbing and sanitation, fire. Then we do structure. All right? Now, we're insanely good at structure in Canada and the United States. Buildings don't fall down and people don't die because of structural failures. They used to, 
a hundred years ago, but not anymore. Not a hell of a lot happens in structural engineering anymore. That's why structural engineers are so damn boring. They don't have the personalities to become accountants. They're just boring. You want an exciting engineer, talk to a mechanical engineer because nothing works and we blame the architect, all right? So structural engineering is very mature. Fire engineering, mature. Plumbing and sanitation, mature. Those are the important parts of this list. What's left is the top part of the list. And, you know, we're talking about water flow, air flow, you know, basically moisture flow and energy. Those are puny compared to the stuff that I've just told you about. When we go into existing buildings and we change them, it's important not to screw up the plumbing and sanitation, not to screw up the fire, and not to screw up the structure. Energy is not that important in terms of the big scheme. Don't kill your people and don't kill the building. It's not complicated. 